What's up guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com with another Lightroom edit with you guys. Now in this episode, we're gonna do what we call the Hollywood edit. Now the Hollywood edit is uh, what I kind of classify as the orange teal look that you see in so many popular movies, especially Michael Bay films, Transformers, stuff like that, which is actually a really cool effect, I feel like, for uh, photos. It only works on some photos, so don't do this with all your stuff, but uh, when it does work, it works pretty well and it looks pretty cool. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this image that was shot out in, uh, let's see, Crystal Cove, I believe. Let's go full screen by hitting F twice. Let's hit I to pull up our information. Let's just go over how it was shot. This was shot on a Canon 5D Mark II, I believe on a 50 millimeter. Yep, 50 millimeter prime at F2. Now, just as a tip, we don't ever shoot our prime lenses below F2 just because uh, most of them get too soft, especially on the 1.4. The 1.2 is a little bit better, but we still like to keep it at 2.0 just because... Uh, we end up with still nice bokeh, but it doesn't look too soft, uh, like over the sharp areas. So we shot this at 150 the second at 2.0 at 800 ISO. So it is pretty dark in here because uh, uh, you'll wear 800 ISO at 2.0 and we're still only at 150 the second. So let's hit I to remove the information and let's get started. Now, first thing I want to do is start with my basic production. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our exposure down a tiny bit because I noticed a little bit bright in this highlight area over their skin. So we're going to take it down to 0 0.5, negative 0.53. From here, we're going to adjust our temperature. So let's bring that warmth back into the image. Let's bring our pinks back a little bit. Uh, and right about at 5300 plus 2 for tint, it looks great. I'm going to add a little bit of recovery just to pull the shirt and skin tones back a tiny bit. We're going to add some blacks just to add our contrast in. And I'm going to hit J just to do a double check, but it looks good from there. We have added good contrast without killing all of our shadow detail. We can add a little bit of contrast in this image. I'm not too worried because it's not a super close-up image. If it's a close-up and it shows a lot of highlights on the skin, I'd be a little more worried about that. But uh, I'm not because it's pulled back a little bit. I'm going to actually add a little bit more of our temperature. Uh, in fact, we're going to plus 5400. Plus 40 contrast is great, and we're going to add a little bit of clarity from here. Let's go up to plus 40 clarity and add a little bit more vibrance just to bring out those colors. And we're starting to get a really nice pop in the image, and it looks great. So next thing I'm going to do, we're going to go down to our detail. And let's zoom in. Let's get our detail right on. We're going to go up plus 70, 1.5, and 30 to start with our defaults. And it actually looks really nice right there. I'm going to take my noise reduction up to 20. The reason being is because I have a tiny bit of noise in the image. It was shot at 800 ISO, but it is on a 5D Mark II, so there's not that much noise. But what I really want it for is just a little bit of skin smoothing and softening. We'll take it up to actually plus 25. And it does a really nice job of that. So it's great right there, guys. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get to our lens corrections. For this image, I want to pull in a little bit of a vignette. Not a lot, just a tiny bit. I don't want to cover up skin. I just want it to pull down the edges a little bit as far as brightness, just to bring the attention into the image a little bit more. All right, now let's get to our Hollywood effect. Now the Hollywood effect is basically this. Whoops, that's a uh, tone curve. I want to get to split toning. In Hollywood movies, they add orange and teal. And what that means is they're adding typically orange to the highlights, and then they're adding teals to the shadows. So we're going to do the exact same thing here, and you'll start to see that look kind of pop out. Now, in a lot of films, they go kind of overboard with this, so I wouldn't recommend it with a still image because it's different with a still image than it is with film. But let's take that orange. We're going to add it to our highlights, and then we're going to take the teal, and we're going to add it into our shadows, and then we're going to adjust basically to get the right effect. So let's go over here. Okay. And we can make it more subtle or more, you know, strong just based on how we kind of choose the balance and saturation. So I'm just going to choose a different tone slightly on this side. Let's go up a little bit more. Okay. So we're going to pull back the saturation a little bit on the sat on the highlights and then pull back the saturation a little bit on the shadows. And that gives us a nice kind of orange teal tone. I want to just pull it up a tiny bit more. And that's great. And we can adjust the balance here if we want to. So I'm going to pull the balance a little bit in the direction of the teals. And then we're going to adjust our highlight saturation up just a tiny bit. Let's pull it back just a tiny bit more. Okay, cool. So that looks really cool right there. And then what we're going to do is just amplify it a little bit by adding a little bit more blacks. We're going to just crush it a little bit because we want it to be really, really poppy. I'm going to add a little more recovery just to pull back the skin detail. And then let's add just a tiny bit more uh, pink and then more yellows to bring out the warmth of the image a little bit more. 
So you can see in our shadows over here, we've added a lot of greens to it. And you guys can control how much you want by adding that, uh, by changing the split toning a little bit. Just adding a little bit more greens in the shadows, bumping up the saturation. Um, I'm going to let you guys kind of play around with it, but I think at plus 11, it looks good. We haven't uh, added too much green into the areas that we don't want to. So we've done the orange teal effect. Let's check out what the before and after looks like. So here is that before, and here is the after image with our orange teal effect. And it looks really cool. We have kind of that little Hollywood look, and uh, we did it right all in Lightroom in just a few seconds. Well, a few minutes in the tutorial, but when you guys are doing it on your own, you guys are pros, so it'll take you a few seconds. So uh, I'm going to export this, and we'll see you guys with the next tutorial.